Today we're going to talk about the uh, various drum kits that we've used over the last 40 years. Started out in 1973 with a Ludwig, it was a four-piece kit. And I used that for a couple years and then I graduated to a Slingerland five-piece kit. It's had two rock toms, floor, snare. Used the Slingerlands all the way up into the mid 80s and then um, went to a show one day. It was in Vail, Colorado. It's a windy day, outdoor show, and one of the lighting truss legs was not secured properly. The lighting truss blew over, landed on top of the bass drum, smash. So he had to switch up. And I heard about this company in Australia, and I went and got me a set of Brady's. Nice, love them, four piece, Jera. Then uh, in, nine, in about 94, 93, 94, uh, I had a friend that worked for Brady at one time. He partnered with a guy, and they made me two kits eventually. Not initially, but they made me two kits, and I used those up until this year. I love them, but they have uh, they have some age issues, and they were coming apart. So we had to switch up and get get a new kit. So this year we switched up, and now we have this lovely cherry pork pie kit. Well, the three pieces pork pie. 13 by 13 rack, 16 by 16 floor, 24 by, I'm going to guess 18 bass drum. And that's what we're using now. The snare drum is a Ludwig Black Beauty, 6.5 by 14. They started making, Black Beauty was traditional drum probably the most recorded drum in history uh, but they stopped making them for years and so a couple years ago they started making them again thought we'd try one and it's just it's probably the most beloved drum I think I've ever owned it's just I just, just we really like this one a lot it's pretty much pretty much basically covers the drum history, 40 years drum history of the destroyers.